name is Leah, and I have a question for all of you, really, is why do you think the Second Amendment was intended to protect the rights of Americans to rise up against a tyrannical government when Article I in the Constitution allows armed citizens to, and militias to suppress insurrections, not to cause them? The Constitution defines treason as levying war against the government in Article Three. I'm going to stop you there, because you had a question mark after I did. the first part. I did. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think there's a deceptively easy Sandy answer Levinson. to your question. The 1787 Constitution did not include uh, the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment, as Alan would emphasize, is part of the Bill of Rights that were added in 1791 um, at the behest of people who really were very suspicious of this new national government that was created by the Constitution. And you know, one could quote Emerson <clears throat> or Walt Whitman, that the Constitution contains contradictions. And you have put your finger on a very key contradiction. Do you disagree enough with that to want to argue it, David Copeland? Uh, Supreme Court Justice Story would disagree that there was a contradiction there, as he explained in his treatises. The, an insurrection is an illegitimate violent, act, violent action against the government. But if the Second Amendment militias led by their state governments, were ever necessary to overthrow a tyranny, that would not be an insurrection. Like the Civil that, War. That, that would be like a, the Civil the, War, right? Let me talk, please. That would be a restoration of constitutional order. That's what Justice Story's viewpoint is. There's a, it would be a dictatorship that was the insurrection, that was lawless, that was at war with the Constitution itself. So was itself. the Civil War Wait, a legitimate Alan, hang one on, or not? Hang on. are you, David, are you done? Yes. Okay. What, Dave, uh, Alan, so, was the Civil War legitimate? Or was it a legitimate insurrection or an illegal insurrection? I, I, I have, I have uh, an answer to that. Uh, which, which, which Civil War? Do you mean the Civil War against the federal government or the Civil War that was fought between 1775 and 1781 no, in the, the U.S.? No, the that we all refer to so the, the Civil answer War is, with a capital T, a capital C, so, and a capital W, a guy so involving the, Abraham Lincoln. Remember that one? <laughs> So the was answer, that a legitimate insurrection? That so was the, led by state militias. So the answer is Someone help that me we think the, the Revolutionary so. War was legitimate, partly because we were we the ones won. on the willing side, winning side, but partly because we think it was a just insurrection. That we think the Civil War is legitimate because it was an unjust insurrection. But to return to your question, it's an excellent question. But if you look at the framing era documents and the post framing documents, and for that matter, the pre framing documents, Sir William Blackstone's commentaries and the laws of England, it was understood that while Obviously, every government must be able to suppress revolutions against it, and it will, whether it's a tyrannical government or not. One merit that was seen at the time, again, I'm skeptical about it today, but was without question historically seen at the time in an armed citizenry, is it would preferably deter tyranny and, if necessary, overthrow it, recognizing that if it failed, they'd all be hung, hanged for treason. That was understood. All right, sir. Um, my name is John Donahue. Um, I thought I heard David... Couple say that uh, you were 